beaches. Always bring it back. I mustn't let it happen again. Good God. I was working. The cabinet office has sent you a new secretary. It's such an honor to meet you, Mr. Churchill, sir. Well, there's no need to drop to the floor, my dear. I'm not royalty. General Eisenhower. Winston. This will be the greatest campaign by our allied forces. The potential for disaster is too great. The plans for D-Day have been in place for over a month. I can't lead this. You have no choice. It's as if my experience, my knowledge of warfare, count for nothing. The invasion of France must be stopped. No, sir, you must be stopped. Oh. Do you want to be cuddled? I'd settle for some respect. Then don't complain when someone tells you the truth. The army is ready. OK, let's go. Half of those men will be rotting corpses by tomorrow. That's enough! My fiancé is on one of those ships. I don't want to hear that the man I love may in a few hours be dead. I'm sorry. I have no right. You have every right. I need your help. Try acting like a hero, Winston, and then maybe people will believe that you are one. This is the Prime Minister speaking. You must give them hope. Make them believe they will win this war. This great war is fought by ordinary people. This is not a war for glory. It is a war for freedom. When it's all over, what will I be? You will always be the man who led us through this.